We probably said something over the past hour and a few odd minutes. Would you just wait? Uh, but no, no, no. I'm tired of you. You're all hopped up on your performance enhancing gravy. And you're just talking nonsense. You're packed out of though. your skull, man. We tried to get him to eat the gravy. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all under Linux, joined every week by the man up top. He's on the top monitor. Look at him. He's so pinchy. That is one Jordan Sapong. And the man next to Cage. He's to his right. You can't see him. He's just out of frame where Cage always is. Surprise, Cage. Watch as you cage. masticate one Pedro Mateus together with you yeah. at home watching us live or maybe after the fact in Shot Realm Dynamic helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Is that is that the church that you open up and you break all your fingers? Is that how it goes? I thought it was I thought it was this one. I it, that's <laughs> nasty. Put that away. No. <laughs> <laughs> no Sense one wants to see your packer, Jordan. Sense of the sound post. No. Do it. <laughs> see, this is the problem. You say shit like that, and I know I'm like, okay, well, I could mask that. I could do the, uh, yes, I can the do that. The mosaic filter, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. No, I, I, I can, like, line it up and do the tracking for it, so it's, like, real censored.tv <laughs> stuff, right? Net. <laughs> if the show's late tomorrow, um, there, there's, there's who you blame in, man. Production um, value. Yeah. So what's new with everyone? We like to play catch up. I, speaking of catch up, I got some catch up, catch up controller. <laughs> We've determined that this is in fact the Xbox One S controller mm-hmm. in the preview <laughs> super shows and go watch that if you're a patron. Um, yes, mystery solved. Yeah, it works. Stay tuned. There was one little thing I had to do, but it does match. It's not quite as hooker red. <laughs> it, 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 it's more Roxanne-ish. It's like a classier type of escort. I just like that mm-hmm. I have two because I can answer the door and just be like, "Yes, <laughs> be, be all guns akimbo." It's like, look at my Daniel Radcliffe cosplay. No, Do you no, like it? I, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna gently like boop them on the snout with it while they're trying to talk to me. And that anyway, that's how I ended up in jail last time. Um, <laughs> Well, you, you ended up in jail because you in the snow. <laughs> no, because he had the mismatched controllers. He had a red and a black one. They're like, no, you got to have two red ones or two black ones. That's <laughs> oh, out. it's racism. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, Controller racism. One of the things, man. Uh, I spent my Friday afternoon. If you follow me on Discord, I'm like, oh look, I, I got a used. By the way, I got an access point. It's a Microtech access point. Not a big deal. It was from a barn. By the way, <laughs> was. Ooh. Well, at least that's what the SSID said when I first managed to power it up. It was like barn access point. I'm like, huh, buddy used. What? You know, the Wi Fi direct sheep. They need, I, they need to- I guess, man. This was like melt sheep, man. Uh, but check this out. <laughs> uh, I wanted to see whether or not, being a Microtech product, uh, if I could set this up using, you know, just like what I knew, what little I knew about networking. Keep in mind, it's very minuscule. Um, I did an RTFM. After like two and a half hours, I tapped out because <laughs> Microtech is fucking impervious, impervious to intuition, period. Mm, common None. sense proof hardware. You can, after then I read what needed to be done and how to set it in Capsman and set up the certificates to push out the configuration to the access. But I was like, yeah, I would have never figured that shit. You two might have, <laughs> not me. Uh-uh. I was not like in the same, like, zip code as what was it, can I just make you an access point and plug you in why can't i say ah whatever and I, it works now anyway also you're welcome future people using open broadcaster with your deck links it's gonna work because i submitted a bug that was instantly closed and then they <laughs> renamed a file yeah victory <laughs> and then reopened Dude. <laughs> And then closed again. <laughs> I, I didn't even, yeah, I, I had just enough. Do you ever have that? Like when you submit a bug report, when you have, uh, it takes you a minute. You're like, oh, of course they closed it. But then you think about it. Like, oh, you mother. I, I know what I'm talking about. Don't you under, but by the time I, I get like 25% there, it was like opened again. I'm like, oh shit. Anyway, what's new with you, Pedro? <laughs> <laughs> over here not much has been happening i uh well work has been happening but yeah no the outside of that i've been playing a lot more um 
Need for Speed World, as if I needed more reasons to do so, because the server that I'm playing I on I thought you were playing to... Minecraft with wheels. What happened to that? And... <laughs> I got to the point where, oh, I could see that this is all I have left because I explored, like, most of the uh, available land in the planet. So I could either start a new world and uh, start fresh, or, yeah, that's uh, that's it. <laughs> But now, uh, the server that I'm playing on in a uh, soapbox race world, they introduce, they have a website where they have all the rankings and everything that everyone can go and uh, obsess over millise- uh, milliseconds. Don't you love letterboards? Because I, I have enjoyed the past, uh, <laughs> like, couple of, uh, well, today, where I was just crushing Strider after realizing he beat me on one map in Devil May Cry. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, now now they have the uh, per car breakdown instead of just per event. You can actually uh, filter out just like just people playing with this same car. So since I'm a big fan of the one of the starter cars, it's the Mazda Speed Three. Now I'm getting all of the best times in all of the tracks, just going through all of them to set the best time. This much of me wants <laughs> just, to start playing just, the game just, just, just to just beat by you. ignoring everyone else. Yeah, good job. Go ahead. I, I'd appreciate some competition because right now I have none. <laughs> Talk, talking big, talking big. Let's see if Pride I get cometh before the fall, Pedro. <laughs> I have. There's a website full of evidence. Pride <laughs> cometh. This, What's no, this you? A, have you have you bought any cages or anything lately? I've no. I I, I think I think I come to a decision about the one I want to order. Mm-hmm. I got an email that said the gyms are reopening next week, so I'm like, excellent. This Ooh. is perfect timing. But you did have uh, to think about that. You're like, well, for how many days is this time, right? Yeah, ex- exactly. Right. So I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna put in an order for something and start like slowly accumulating stuff instead of buying it all at once and spending like five. How are you gonna make room budget. with that horse? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to squat the horse. It's like one of those, um, oh, no. like the, those, uh, Bulgarian sandbags that Bulgarian they use for training. Horse bag, yes. <laughs> Bulgarian steam. Bulgarians. Bulgarian yeah. transitions, baby. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so steam client has a new beta out. Um, they have, uh, they've added a few things. Now you can more easily launch non proton or non steam games via proton. Uh, they didn't have non-proton to do that. That's games. Yes. I can listen to non proton games, games with steams. Enough, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but if you, if you add a third party app via steam, now you can run it through proton. That's really handy. They didn't have to do that. That's good of them to do that. Um, everything's going to the lowercase steam apps directory now, which I'm super happy about because it's always fun. It's like, I need to find the files for a game. Is it steam apps with the capitals or with the lowercase? Everything's going to lowercase now. I'm super happy. I don't have to make that crap shoot anymore. Yay. The one thing I saw that I was very happy about was, um, and this is a completely nonsensical issue that I've had is, why do I, I don't have a big steam drive. It's, I mean, compares has 250 gig SSD. That's like, that's how many, how many games you're allowed at once. Unlike Pedro, it's like, I will hoard them all. <laughs> but when I know that I have like 30 to 50 gigs free and I'm downloading something and it goes allocating disk space, like get fucked. We both know it's there. Quit. Why, what are you doing? And it'll take three or four seconds. They fix hmm. that, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, for me, the the thing that I noticed wasn't even one of the Linux specific fixes. It was a Steam input fix, which is they fixed a regression where controllers would not show up in some games if you had Steam input enabled. And I'd seen that. I didn't think that Steam was the issue because it was working in um, uh, big picture mode and... You know, given all my past experiences with the uh, the DualShock Four and uh, the kernel, uh, just outright rejecting it if you tried to connect it over Bluetooth or um, KD just crashing entire parts of the desktop environment if you plugged it in. It still happens, by the way, but at least now it recovers. Uh, but yeah, no, I just assumed okay, it's probably one of those. It'll get fixed eventually. Mm-hmm. Whatevs. Nope. Apparently, it was Steam. Okay. You, <laughs> well, yeah, so it, it, I ran into that with um, Nier, but I just rolled back um, Proton versions until I think I ended up using like Proton G, which is a great thing to have around. Speaking yes. of. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain to update it, though. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is, uh, well, it's <laughs> a Welcome, by the script. way, ladies and gentlemen, to the Segway Olympics. <laughs> 
It's a teeny tiny little script. It's actually two scripts. Uh, one to upgrade Proton TKG and the other one to upgrade uh, Proton GE. And yeah, they do exactly what you'd expect. You run them and it will try and find the... We'll look first at the compatibility D folder to um, make sure that you have anything installed or if the folder exists. If it doesn't, it creates it for you. And then it goes, okay, uh, do you have any installed? Okay, you already have the latest version. I'm not going to do anything. Otherwise, it downloads the newest version. And uh, I was looking through the dependencies, and the first thing is Posix compliant shell, e.g. bash. It's like, okay, why is that a thing? Oh, mm -hmm. apparently there's uh, other shells like uh, ZHS uh, or... Uh, that a sh sorry <laughs> uh, and fish uh, that apparently have some issues <laughs> if you try to use those with um something that requires posix compliance but why would you develop an entirely new shell to work on an operating system that doesn't respect the defaults and builds on that and instead just shirks the whole thing and tries to do its own thing why that sounds almost as bad as accidentally closing the uh the you know, chrome browser yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped I, into my mind. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, uh, so, like, uh, honestly, like, in terms of POSIX compliance, right, like, that's kind of a, it's kind of a nothing these days. Linux isn't POSIX compliance. Mac is POSIX compliance because they have a bunch of empty functions to pass the POSIX compliance test. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. If you're expecting certain <laughs> shell features to be there, it makes sense to say, like, yo, you should use something that was developed for this. One um, of the things that like, does Gloria Segro update enough to, I mean, for me, and just speaking for myself, I don't think it updates with a frequency to, well, I, you know, then we're going to find it because, you know, we're going to be following, you know, in our Discord or on Linux right. underscore, it, we're going to see it somewhere. But right. I guess and this like, would be handy to sit in the background and... Yeah, if you, if you set this as like a weekly cron job just so that you have the latest and greatest Proton GE whenever... Is there, then, I'm going to ask you a question, Jordan. I don't really update it that much. Well, here's the thing. I want to ask both of you, do you think there would there be any issue with like Valve adding the option to add something like this? Uh, you know, if we could have the option, because I mean, GE is a good thing to have. GE does what Proton don't sometimes. Case Mafia yeah. too. That, it, it would uh, well, definitely they did be nice... add the ability to add uh, external tools like other custom versions of Proton. Uh, they are, didn't are have to something... do that either, but they did. <laughs> well, I, I mean, are you talking about something like more menu driven where you're like, hey, we have a format now. You can like publish well, an RSS feed and it will pull in. The exactly. Latest. They know where it's at. I'm just saying, why don't you ring up a uh, cheese and be like, yo, we're just going to toss this in and make it a checkbox, you know, in the Proton section under Steam so yeah. people can. Do it yeah. where you don't have to go to GitHub, download that, extract it to your um, Steam yeah, even, root, whatever. Even if they even if they carry it that, like just go with TKG, GE, maybe mm -hmm. one or two other ones. We're gonna we're gonna talk about one of the other ones you might want to add. Yeah, we are this as well. But first, so, we're gonna uh, talk about space gnomes. Space gnomes. Ma space gnomes, mother, mother. That's radio edit. We'll donate one dollar to charity for every viewer of what Half Life Two achievement recalled. Escape Newell fires guard gnome in space, man. So this this is just a little silly thing we wanted to throw in, man. Uh, Half Life Two, Little Rocket Man achievement, still one of the finest achievements ever. One of Jordan's favorite <laughs> is poised to become a reality. Is <laughs> Valve's Gabe Newell prepares to launch a garden gnome into space for charity? Yes, we are seeing Veto Workshops Noam Chomsky, and yeah. so Flight 16's primary objective is launch 30 satellites, a sun synchronous gnome. Uh, regrettably, see the gnome burn up on re-entry into Earth's atmosphere during the deorbiting process. Aw. Rocket Lab. Oh, I know those folks. Uh, they're good people. So, though, uh, Gabe Newell will be donating $1 to Starship for every person that watches the gnome make its ascent into space online, either live or within 24 hours of blastoff. We'll be hosting the live stream soon. Uh, launch day is solidified. Uh, I don't... That, okay. So what's so, going on so, the, so the gnome has showed up in it was in half-life 2 it was basically one of those things where like if you bring it from point a to point b you get an achievement for it it's there's a similar one in left for dead in the carnival level if you uh play one of the carnival games it'll give you a uh, gnome as a prize if you take the gnome all the way to the helicopter from like that concert stage um mm -hmm. then you get an, you get another achievement for it i did that one that was and, like um i remember when we were playing um 
meet the Freemans. And I, there was a gnome and I'm like, Hey, look, there's a gnome. I should have kept my mouth shut because I, I got, <laughs> I got Pedro explained. Pedro's like, yeah. well, actually a little rock 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 yes. yeah. <laughs> regardless, I'm just happy that this stupid little fucker is going to burn up in the atmosphere. Cause fuck that achievement. Fuck it. It's bad. <laughs> Screw you. Gnome. get melted. Yeah. No, Gnome Chomsky, uh, the actually doing it in, um, half-life two episode two is not, difficult uh it's hard uh to find it once you leave it in the base um and you have to go and do the things with the car and then come back and find it again that's a difficult bit <laughs> but yeah once you have it on the starship it's like okay done <laughs> all right i thought we give that a mention um there is work independent work being done because you know we have a dxvk and we're able to play the you know direct x 11 titles went from oh man damn it i wanted to play that game but it's dx 11 to now oh yes it's dx 11 i can use um vulcan power and just play through and it'll be swimmingly and full tr- virtual programming is going fuck all of you that's that's how it sounds um there is still work that has to be done gentlemen and that work is vk d3d Proton, which is what fair to say, just uh, we're doing um, DX12, what we're doing for DX11, yep. right? Yeah, this is the this is the primary like fork for Proton and all the DirectX 12 work that's going in there. They're saying like, yeah, we have a list of support games, Control Death Stranding, basically new new shit that has come out recently that mm-hmm. is using DirectX 12 and the new Shader Modders. Metro Shader Exodus, Shader, Shader, Devil May yep. Cry, uh, Control. You know what? I might, uh, out of curiosity, I might play around with some of that. How, how do I install look, this though? Do I just like install it on top of Proton or what? Well, yeah, you you put you would build it and you'd put it in the compatibility tools D. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa slow, slow down, buddy. I'm an Arch user. What do you mean build? <laughs> oh, that's that's that's, that's right. There, there, there's there's there. I think there's an R for this. Either either way, they have a they have a compressed hardball with all the uh, with all the pre compiled stuff there. Tarda right. ZST. Yeah. That's a new one. That is a new one. I haven't, I haven't ran into that one before, but lo I and behold. I would assume XF would uh, get that done. I would hope. Uh, pro- yeah, pro- or you probably. could just clone the Git. <laughs> and, and build it. But, you know, if yeah, you're an Arch user, they, then... They uh, say uh, it's a Mason and Ninja install script, but yeah, it's uh I don't hate as, I, I don't hate ninja as much as I used to. I, <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's becoming it's not, a lot more commonplace. It, it's, yeah, it's not... It, I still have resentment towards it, but uh, it's grown on me over the years. Mm. Uh, and uh, this isn't, you know, the full uh, build. This is just like DXVK, basically, but uh, it's VKD3D. So you yes. don't, you're not building the whole of Proton. You're just building VKD3D for Proton specifically. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say just me is me looking through this. I'm like, get fucked. Um, no, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you've lost me in like paragraph 19. I just, right. this, I just want to play with this. I, I was willing like, Hey man, I'll test it. What? This, can, this, this, concise. This how, do, how do I take this thing here and put it on this box hard and hit play? Lutris. I don't, I don't know. Cause like this, this is, this, this is hundred percent thing. Like if you got that DX 12 game, you really need to fucking play right now. Cause you've been all that windows hotness, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. Y- your life will find a way. But until then, yeah, yeah basically you will. need to build the DLLs to drop into the, uh, wine prefix. That's it. Well, this <laughs> will not work with vanilla wine. I read that much in the, um, yeah. And yes. they do say and they prefer you to the, build the, uh, Vulcan, uh, Nvidia drivers. If you have an yeah. Nvidia card. My, my big question is, can I like build that and just drop it on top of Proton? Maybe. Uh, you can if, yeah, drop it uh, in the prefix. They're yes. DLLs, effectively, they, once you're done building they, them. They, they do say, though, that the native Linux build is not actively supported because they've been doing this thing where they build all the Proton stuff on Windows to make it yeah. look more like a like an actual Windows binary so that anti cheat is less likely to... Say so you're a dirty cheater. Get fucked. Mm. <laughs> it's like, why are you loading an SO when we're only expecting DLLs? No. <laughs> I, I would just like to take a moment to thank Microsoft for DirectX 12. <laughs> Yay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yay. Well, you can thank Valve for some Left 4 Dead updates. Dude, uh, this thing gets updated like once a week now, but uh, up until very recently, as in this week, it's just been like little random things that didn't even merit a uh, change log, but there has been a new update on Left 4 Dead 2. They fixed a gag of stuff, Jordan, and 
you know, I'm going to be honest. I, I read through it and I was like, man, that's like a list of uh, shit that people who really play this game a lot would notice. I'm just not one of them, apparently. Yeah, there, there, were, there was there was some uh, graphical fuckery going on with the special infected that I did kind of notice. Apparently, this got fixed now. There's also some Left for Dead or the not Left for Dead, last last stand uh, fixes as well for the survival mode. Which I think we still got to take a crack at that because I gotta ask this question: What the hell is um, removed alarm glass from non alarm car? That so, makes so sense like, to uh, somebody. When when you when you trigger when you trigger the alarm on one of the cars, like the glass gets broken. Okay. Um, and sometimes that that effect has been replicated on cars that are not the alarm car. So it's just scaring the hell out of people for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yep. <laughs> What's the downside of that? Oh, purely okay. visual. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, a couple of map changes. They fixed a few issues that caused uh, tanks to meet you to get stuck, which I don't see the downside there. Um <laughs> Oh, and they've marked. When you spawn in as a tank, it's like I literally can't move. <laughs> or, or, you know, like, listen, I, man, that can be a, that can be good because then all the pressure's off of you. I guess. <laughs> or, or, or you start off as the tank and you spawn in fire, and you're like, "Well, I'm gonna die before I get to the guys." So uh, fuck, me. fuck me. I don't know. It's the thing we gave it a mention, but we do have a couple more updates to talk about. Uh, up to point. including yes, a casket yeah. stories. And really bad yes. Photoshop. <laughs> it's the big, uh, like the big thing that requires a lot of strength that you pick up the pillar, uh, the two-handed weapon. Uh, but yeah, uh, Hackpoint is uh, extending <laughs> their Halloween event uh, until November eighth. So by the time you're watching this, you probably still have a little bit of time to uh, go and experience it if you haven't already. But if you're tired of it and you just wanted to stop having the uh, funky masks and the um, a little pumpkin heads you can go to the options menu and disable that altogether uh they they're doing this because uh the halloween celebration sort of overlaps the um birth date of the studio which was apparently on um november 5th uh, so like, on a day what what's yes. the <laughs> point here man i mean you're trying to like make the hellscape that is that game more upbeat and friendly? No, it's. It, it, I think it makes it more terrifying, right? Like now it's legitimately <laughs> scary with all these cute pumpkins around. I, I we just gotta finish powering through, so I, I don't. I no longer have Peter Pumpkin Head with the by the crash test dummy stuck in my head. <laughs> I, I mean, you could have the script of the movie Pumpkin Head in your head instead. That's kind of hot. Yeah. I mean, oh, we man, still the, have to the, throw chairs at a certain Pumpkin Head. Oh, dude, there, there's a there's like a legit Pumpkin Head tie-in game that is terrible. We should play that. Let's begin. Um, <laughs> Hero Siege. <laughs> Hero Siege. Yeah, it's a hack and slashy dungeon crawly uh, game. It's we've been out for a this. while. Yeah. Um. No, I don't think we've actually played this because really? I, I think we haven't. I don't. Maybe, maybe it was Hero a week I was Siege. Gone. I think so. It, it might. It might have been one of those weeks that I was gone that you did that. Uh, they're definitely stealing the Diablo font, but they have a new version out. It's five two zero six. No Linux fixes here, but lots of like general gameplay fixes as well. I don't know, like. <laughs> It has it has online uh, multiplayer. It has eighteen thousand positive reviews. Yeah, it, it, yeah, and it's it, and it's, it's six bucks. One of so. those online top down um, shooter yeah, yeah. roguelike type of yeah. games. Yeah, so which are I, massively I popular. <laughs> I, I would say this is like a good can candidate for the Thursday stream because like board person dungeon crawling can be pretty fun. So. I'm going to go do a search as you guys talk. You do that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like, but yeah, it's, I, I, the, the, this is one of the longer standing ones. I think like it's, it's been out for like a good couple years. Uh, yeah. It, uh, 2014 actually. 2014, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I think we've just played a bunch of games that, uh, that are, that are, that are similar. Yeah. Yeah. Could but be. The, yeah. We, but I know this we talked has about online it, multiplayer. I mean, unless it wasn't that classic <laughs> episode, Emu soldiers that <laughs> Emu soldiers in the one. heart of Russia. <laughs> Ah, good old classic <laughs> empty shark. Good times. So, okay, couple updates. That's good. But um, we do have a little bit of a uh, werewolves. It's so sp yes. it's so sus. Too right. sus. One night uh, werewolf mode for never split the party. Werewolf uh, mode. Basically, Sounds a little dirty. Doesn't werewolf. It? Werewolf <laughs> mode. Would you order your steak werewolf mode? Yes, hundred percent. Or just got like worms and chicken in it. And... <laughs> no, like I, I want a steak that will bite me back. Obviously. All right. And then turn me into a steak at a full moon. 
But yeah, um, never split the party. There's a new update out, and uh, they're not shy to admit this was inspired by the wildly successful Among Us. There's a new uh, Intrigue of Werewolves game mode, uh, which basically, yeah, one of you is um, will be assigned as a werewolf, and the rest of the uh, the party will have to try and uh, suss you out before you kill them all, basically. I'm what's, with, what's listen, it? man. I'm I'm willing to attempt that and not understand a thing about it. Well, so here, so here, here's the thing. Uh, we actually we actually played a bit of this game. I actually really like it because it it does that thing where it's a co-op game where you all rely on each other because otherwise you lack information. Uh, this ex- this expands the multiplayer from four people to sixteen people, which is really cool. Could be that it's I, a, wait. How much is it going to cost me though? Uh, it's free. free. Uh, it's free. <laughs> if uh, the the other non default sh- non shit characters cost money. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So that, that that's that's how they do this. Um, Can you get yeah, like some but, um, like powered up characters? Like you could like buy I don't know like a level. Gonna be the level. No, no, you can't. You can't be the level. This uh. is this isn't this isn't <laughs> Baba. But I don't, I don't know. The the, the 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 trust required in this game makes it kind of interesting to throw like a trader mechanic in there. I think this would be actually pretty fun. And you still, it's still integrated into the main game. So it's all about crawling through dungeons and fighting bosses and whatnot. But well, now if we you got the- 16. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say we'll try it out in after shows. And- all right. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's, uh, okay. let's it's free it, to play. Never split the party. Go That's when we yeah. bring a legitimate like wave of people in. So we might as well try it. We'll try the might as well. Try yeah. it out. Yeah. All right. Not cool. Not going to complain about new game modes. We'll complain about crystal meth though. And why I don't have, an I game. don't know, man. I don't know how you complain can complain about such a sassy snake. Is that a, I thought that was the number two. It can also be a sassy <laughs> steak. Steak. Could be an S. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, Crystal Caves HD. It's a remake of Crystal Caves. Um, now and now, Linux, huh? well, yeah, it's they say Crystal Caves HD is now available for Linux OS on uh, on what, what what did I put? Oh, Magical Thinking Rock. Brought to you, brought to you by a poogie. That's what. Mm. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so this was so the original Crystal Caves. It was a DOS game. Um, they made a HD version that uh, I gotta is be now just with a, you, like E one L fourteen. I'm like I'm expecting like some nine inch nails or some Doom shit, right? Well, that's that's, that's the old, that's the old Apugi level convention, right? right. That's, yeah, that's where it came sh- from. <laughs> it shows this game's age. Uh, so they had a, they had a Windows port of it. Now there's a Linux port of the Windows port, so you can play a DOS game under Linux without having to use DOSBox. That's kind of nice, I guess. That's very nice. Uh, one thing that I noticed was uh, that's six pounds. <laughs> can you can you imagine? Like he looks like he's like I get all these guys, but uh, I'm out of lube. I, I thought he was gonna eat them. He's like, man, these guys are so the, cute, the, but the they're so delicious. delicious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If it was like uh, five pounds or four pounds, like the game we're throwing chairs, I was like, yeah, no, I t- totally would have picked it up. But it, it's just over that threshold. It's like that's a really old game that I really don't want to pay that much money. <laughs> P- P- Pedro, if you wait until the end of the month, it's gonna be like fifty percent off, and then you can buy it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. If you don't, if you don't like the price on Steam for a game that's been out for a while. Wait a bit. Wait a bit longer. No, I, I got to complain about it right now. See, I play the long game of like, this is like one of the beautiful things about <laughs> just with me, my personal experience with Linux gaming, just being running on Linux since like 95 is if is my time frame. Like, oh, that's coming out. So like waiting two or three years for something a bit cheaper. I'm like, All right. Yeah. Done. Way, way of the patient gamer. If you if you want to catch up on like the console releases, just lag one behind and pick them up used. No, I like games. to buy PS4s and plug them in and not use them. I, that's the thing. Why, I, I why, said this why so am many I times? I didn't Pedro buy Mateus's. it. <laughs> ben, why are you? Did you get bitten by a radioactive Pedro Mateus? No, are you it turning was the into PS4. Him now? It turned me into oh. a. I don't know, swear wolf. It, it, Damn it. it turned you into a were Pedro. Coming up next, I'm going to have to shoot these men with the silver bullets, and then we're going to talk about some AMD processors. I will have to shoot multiple men. <laughs> Immutable men. Immutable men? You, you can't shoot. Yep, see, he's mutable. And uh, the news will be... Well, it won't be... There won't be as many as there were Steam stories. What if Pyramid but, Head uh, was only there- one-dimensional? There will be no news. Think it about it. Be Imagine what, how dogs. hard it would be to kill Pyramid Head if he was just like fucking flat, man. He just what, 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 if, what if what if instead of like Triangle Man, he was Line Segment Man? No Pyramid flat. You could just like walk up and put a drink on him. 
It would be so like safe. I mean, so, as so a like character, a pyramid heart nowadays is basically one dimensional. So I guess there was a point to that. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you can just block him like you would any amnesia baddie. I don't know. I always <laughs> assumed he'd get it right, he, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he was like you know not a turtle, but he still got a hold of some mutagen and turned him into whatever the fuck he's supposed to be. Boring. That's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Boring and wholly unoriginal. <laughs> That's what yeah. mutagen does to people these days. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking if, if, of if boring you, and wholly unoriginal, I was I was gonna I was gonna say if you want to see us mutate into creepy lizard men with followed by Michael Bay explosions, you can head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. I, I, I just want to like pull out to somebody at their house and like I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. They're turtle. They're exploding turtles. They're God turtle people. No, we're crab people. We taste like crab and we talk like people. Yes. All right, yeah, LinuxGameCast.com, patreon.com slash LinuxGameCast. Great way to support the show. You can select the membership level, but gets you access to the Discord channel, pre-pre super shows and, and the video stream for that. Too fitty an uh, episode gets you access to the uh to the show notes if you wanna talk if you want to talk to us directly while we're putting together the show, while we're Didn't sourcing we have, uh, stories. Yeah, we had some people throw it out uh, in the notes. Uh what is this? Yeah, Will actually Oh no, no, we had a uh, Dak Dak spent probably 30 minutes working on getting a link in. And uh, Katana. <laughs> Katana. Katana. Katana was agreeing with the, the whole um, controller not working thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you if you want to riff or just make fun of us, you can pay two fifty an episode. Hop in our show notes. Show notes. Hints, thoughts, and allegations, and all that fun stuff, man. Yeah, we we got a Chicago kicks ass level just for you know people you who really do. like Little Nicky. Nine nine nine. Um. <laughs> We got we got a store store out linuxgamecast.com. You can check that out. We got t-shirts, we got stickers, we got That's it. That's it. Yeah, we yeah. got we got yeah. we got t-shirts and stickers. <laughs> people are people are tired of showing up. Nope, man. Wait, no, no, like, just, not, no hoodies. Uh, I am just tired of people stickers. showing up saying where's the snowblower? And I'm like, it's goddamn Jordan. Won't shut up about our snowblower. We do not have a snowblower. Quit asking. <laughs> I keep saying flamethrower. I don't know where they're getting snowblower from. Uh but yeah, you, we do have hoodies, some... stickers, and chairs. Oh my. Um available <laughs> in uh, any color you want, as long as it's white, black, or pink. Yeah. Indeed. Uh okay. what else? We, we got we got the Amazon affiliate page. Um, you can go there. You can, or we got we got the affiliate links. Uh, you can click on those. Do some. We got affiliate things. links. They exist, and that's all we'll say about them. Um, yep. Do with that information mm-hmm. what you will. Uh, we have uh, like little wish zones. I have one for the studio. We don't use. Well, I don't use the one for the studio. It's just shit I'm planning on buying. So if you just straight up want to creep on things I'm going to be getting for the studio and for the show, do that. I've also itemized everything that is in the studio. So if you're like, hey man. What's that thing over there? I want one of those things. Go to our web zone, go to the about segment and just click on studio equipment. It'll take you there. I'm not saying buy anything through that, but it, there is a list there. You go to New Egg and buy shit. But yeah, wish list. Pedro and Jordan, they have fascinating, weird, bizarre things. If you want to kick them, a little bit of coin, kick a bit of love. You can make like a little, uh, I always like, I think about our wish zones like this. It's like a game shark. You let us skip ahead, you know, we're like, oh, there's a thing we can get early. And you get to send a little note, and against our better judgment, we are required to read it. So there you go. There's your threats, and uh, I fucking dare you, baby. <laughs> I dare you to buy an Intel processor now. I don't have an Intel processor. Up. Ha. Well, you should. I you should buy one. one around here somewhere. You should buy one. It. It. I. I hear it outperforms the latest AMD stuff. No, man. Those are the new ones that are coming out, baby. <laughs> Those are the new ones. Uh, we're talking about the uh, new hotness from AMD. That is here to rock your motherfucking world. Yes, the rumors are true for once. That's good. Uh, this is from Anontech. Um, all this nonsense is going to be in our show notes uh, after the fact. Go check that out. But here's some gaming test results of all that new rise in hotness. What do we got? The 5600, 5800, 5950. It's getting so sexy. What's that way down there? The 2700x. Oh, 2900k. What? Oh, oh, <laughs> losing, losing, losing. Oh, oh no. Whoa, what's wrong? What happened? To, what happened? Until did you not innovate for a full fucking decade? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens, man. Friends don't let friends not innovate and overcharge and change motherboard designs every other fucking week because of reasons. Shrug emoji. Fuck you. Intel, Intel is your friends. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, up at the, up at the top, you have like the 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 bargain bin budget CPU. That's uh, I don't know, budget CPU land is gonna be real interesting in the coming year because I I I don't know, I look forward to a day, the return to the days where the CPU wasn't the most expensive sys, uh, thing you had to cram in your system. You could buy like a reasonably priced CPU. 
What do you, you mean? You still can. <laughs> what? I, 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 I don't wait, know. Wait, wait. Like can, pay, can, paying wait, in excess of five hundred dollars for a good CPU. Yeah. I, what, what did you, you? You were saying not the most expensive one. Thing you put in your box. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got back up. <laughs> that, <laughs> Uh, it still very much isn't the most expensive thing uh, you put in your box, but uh, yeah, apparently the th- the only thing that Intel still had going for them was Is that the- going to be the new AMD uh, slogan? Hey, what's in your box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They could probably get away with it, uh, considering they, you know, called their processors thread rippers. Uh, but yeah, the uh, enrage mode for the new GPUs. Rage. But yeah, the <laughs> uh, the thing that Intel had going for them were the higher clock speeds. Uh, Single because, core ICP, baby. Yep, they had uh, okay. The uh, per core uh, performance IPC was basically on par as uh, when Ryzen uh, three thousand released the current series well it's the last series now but uh yeah the ipc they matched ipc clock for clock they had the same performance as intel did but intel managed uh, because they've been on the exact same process node for six years now uh that they have uh higher clock speeds and they can clock those processors much higher than uh ryzen could now well, AMD managed to improve things to the point where they can have like the single core uh, boost of 4.8 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. They've improved so. on it. I mean, it started out with the one series. <laughs> the one series got at least got a pinky toe back in the game. We're rocking out with the mm-hmm. 1800X, 1700s and all that. And you're like, ah, oh, shit. Because a lot of people like me, we're sitting back like, I really need to fucking buy a new CPU right now. We got to see what Intel well, we didn't have to see what Intel. We knew we were going to get it uh, hammered with that. We're like, if if Ryzen is even remotely competitive, we'll go that way yeah. just because that's how we, And it was. Then we had Gen 2 come out. We're like, okay, that's a nice little performance bump. And we've seen, you know, a little bit of evolution with that. This shit rolling out, though, with a 5 Series. They're Damn. winning now. <laughs> this is this is the second time in my life, Oregon, that I've seen this. The first time being with, I believe it was the Thunder Chicken. When that first rolled out, like the first gigahertz. The K- Slot A. Me- <laughs> Mega Ultra Chicken. That's, a. Yeah. That's what Mega you looked at when you picked chicken. it up. And you're like, why, why, why is this fucking CPU on a card? And the Fonz looked at you and he's like, A. <laughs> Also, they couldn't call it one because that's what Intel was doing with that bullshit. I'm very happy to see this. Uh, of course, as with all things good, that's completely unavailable. Mm-hmm. Not to be seen. Like so. everything that's been coming out lately, yes. Yeah, if you think, <laughs> if you think you're getting one for Christmas, fuck off with that. Unless you just happen to win some rando lottery. But the price is coming down. Like, we're so programmed to think that... Yeah, like if you, how much did you pay for your CPU, uh, Jordan? You had I, a quad core, multi threaded, which this this was splurging mm-hmm. on getting SMP in the quad core, right? What for the uh, Intel boxes the, you recently the, got rid of like four months ago? The six seven hundred K. Yeah, that that was what like five hundred dollars for the four core eight thread, and that was like a five year old CPU. Uh, yeah, that that was not because cheap. Intel processors don't uh, come down in price ever. No, no. <laughs> well, they, they cut the um, price of the their um, like the ones that they they make they can make six of per quarter uh, mm-hmm. by like half. But mm-hmm. it's not like you can only make six per quarter, man. The, Fuck the, off the, with that. The eleven ninety nine, whatever the or fuck, whatever it is. Yolo dash yeah. gold yeah. platinum. And now Intel's like, hey man, you know, in like six or eighteen months, we're gonna be rolling out. And they're like, fuck off with that. You've been fucking over. <laughs> no one cares. That's the problem. This is the problem with okay with any corporation or any company period, you don't have to use corporation, any business, any entity. If once you establish market dominance and your first move is like, let's see how much we can extract from our customers without giving them Mm -hmm. only giving them the minimum in return. The second option B is there. It's like, fuck you. (laughs) Um, We're Uh, out. Yeah. There's no loyalty. None. Strategy works really well for the pharmaceutical industry. So Intel's just following suit, right? Yeah. 
Um, it works once you get to up to that level uh, and you have that kind of money and you're feeling yeah. really comfortable about yourself. Yeah. Hey, it just goes to show what happens when you have competition, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes you, your competition or the competition that's being offered is a little, little risky, just like uh, the Yuzu guys are finding out. So uh, Tech Raptor has the story. Speaking um, of stories the deck was trying to submit. Good on you, buddy. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Thank he you, Nemo. He, he did it. So yeah, you might have heard of Yuzu. It's the Nintendo Switch emulator. Uh, it's behind a Patreon wall if you want to get the fancy version. They were working on online support uh, to actually switch to the or connect to the Switch online services. And supposedly they got it working, which is kind of a no-no because Nintendo is super <laughs> litigious about, you know, third party things connecting to their API. And then they had the good grace to say, well, let's put it behind this paywall. If you want to get access to it, you need to pay for our Patreon. At which point everyone, a bunch of the fans, a bunch of people on the devs team said, yeah, no, let's, let's, let's not do that because Nintendo will come and step on us mm-hmm. and not in a fun way. So I think, I think they did a smart by turning that off. They're saying, no, we're not, we're not going to do online services anymore. It's too risky. Don't risk it for the biscuit. Nintendo will completely wipe us from existence. If we try um mm-hmm. maybe maybe they can take another crack at it when like the new nintendo console which is gonna have a name i'm not gonna even bother to uh, I, guess what the new unfortunately nintendo i think it is. boils down to i mean it ultimately don't do not tug on super mario's cape but yeah and, and to your point jordan i legally a gray area what uh, it depends on what country and i'm gonna say in um, the united states what they're doing reverse engineering and duplication of services that don't um legally i think they're fine but that doesn't mean nintendo can't bankrupt them in court i, I don't mm-hmm. know because the, the the dmca definitely does provide some provisions if there's any sort of encryption involved that these guys are reverse engineering uh-huh. or it's fine that or uh or by no it's not reverse engineering it's by specifically bypassing bypassing yes then, okay. that, then not, that's probably this is not bypassing their online service this is their wholly own created online service that only works yeah, with two they, games they currently. basically have their own back end uh, to yeah. the I, multiplayer I, either, component I, that they, they effectively introduced. wrote yeah. their own game <laughs> server code yeah. so like, that, the, the, need yeah, for this, speed this, world this this is why i'm saying like this is going to be uh, they're going to take another crack at this after like the switch online services die down when the new Nintendo comes out. But right now it's no, no good. They were smart. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Yeah. Especially while it's still the active console and Nintendo being Nintendo and having as many exclusive games that they have only ever made available on their own platform. And the big selling point of the switch being, yeah, you can play those games online on the switch, but you have to buy a switch to do it. If someone else was to offer it like Yuzu, it's like, oh yeah, this emulator, you could go online. It's like, hey, you can now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, uh, Uncle Nintendo's got some lawyers. <laughs> so there is that. Um, here's a game. How's this one doing, man? It's been a minute since we've seen an update from these lots. Super Tux Party? Well, yeah. apparently they're still they're still actively working on it. Uh, they have uh, hexagon technology now. For those of you who don't know, Super Tux Party is basically Super uh, Mario Party but instead of Mario characters, you have all the free, uh, freely to use GNU mascots to uh, to replace it. Sort of like Super Text Card. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, they've they've uh, changed the game board. Now it's all hexagons. Um, Can you tell the difference a- between not cell shaded and cell shaded? Looking at your return video because you can't enlarge either of these. Nope. Okay. The uh, uh, the, the one- grass is darker and there's a shadow on the <laughs> cell <Yeah>. shaded one. <laughs> That that that's that's kind of about it. There's no there's no more additional graphical. Oh, I mean the the tiles are like very clear. I guess. I don't know. Here I'm doing it for uh, them. Let's let's see. Yeah. This is uh, that one, Not, and that's there's the that one. He- yeah, there, there there's uh, definitely more textures in the uh, in the tiles on the not cell shaded one. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so part part of the deal with Mario Party is they give you a bunch of random mini games that you have to play. They've changed up the randomizer now so that it will try to avoid repeating games in the current mm-hmm. session. You can suspend existing sessions and come back later to pick up where you left off. Uh, then you might get duplicate games, but I mean, that's really all they can control for. Um, and also they add a new uh, announcer. The open game art mascot is the new announcer now. So I don't know. It's no longer a disembodied voice from the sky it's a disembodied voice from the open game art person oh man i wanted to be the announcer <laughs> we should, we should sure if you get in touch with them and go yo i no, want no, to be no. the announcer they'll probably no. go yeah no no we, we need to petition for frank to be the See, I, I realize that it just fucked myself I just, 
<laughs> I really, I know what I did. I mean, I've yeah. said it. But, hey, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I really like that they're uh, still actively uh, trying to develop it, and they haven't just given up like we've seen so many other projects in the past uh, before them. But I, I, I really hope this gets to a point that we can play it uh, in the after chosen because. Yeah, we need something you like... Know, we do Mario have this Party. game. This game exists on Steam. It's called Party Panic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's not, it's, it's not written in Godot, which is the, which so, is the big one here. Pedro, Godot. a question I will ask you, man. Do you, do you ever like look at your uh, PS4 controls and you're like, you know what? You know what? If this could only be uh, about 30 quid more and the touchscreen could be just like maybe a few millimeters larger, that that would make it perfect. Yeah, you ever think about it's, that? Uh, 10 quid more uh, than these cost brand new, uh, the V2s. Uh, but yeah, no, See, apparently that, the dual sense. That's how you know <laughs> you're getting very close to a nerve because he's just like, well, actually, hang on. The, 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 dual, the dual smell, yeah. Yeah, the dual sense uh, is out in the US. Uh, it will only be out, I think, next week or the week after uh, here in the UK. But if you're in the US, you can go to a store or order it online, and they're available. They're one of the few things that came out recently that hasn't immediately got out of stock. And uh, Boiling Steam got a hold of one, and they give you a fairly lengthy article where they describe everything that they tested, and they make one particular claim that actually uh, tickled my curiosity a little bit, and I've Googled, and I thus far haven't been able to confirm whether or not they're talking out their butts, but uh, that that certainly uh, made me curious, and I am a big fan of the um, the DualShock 4, so like a newer version of that with, uh, and it's about the same size, uh, with the kind of reminds me of the boomerang controller. <laughs> the, the, the boomerang control from the early PS3 visual demos. Yeah. Um, yeah. One one interesting thing about this, I think Pedro was alluding to it. They're using uh, X input now, uh, so I guess that protocol has. One what out. do you mean alluding to it? It's Pedro. He was getting to it. Yeah. Uh, no, I was deliberately avoiding it so that Jordan wouldn't accuse me, <laughs> accuse me of stealing his things again. <laughs> Don't steal my socks, Pedro. I'm going to cut your feet off. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, the Boiling Steam guy basically goes on and says, like, um, it works as, like, a basic bitch controller now. You don't have, like, pressure sensitivity on the uh, trigger buttons. Uh, you don't have any of the six-axis stuff. And the, the touchpad stuff. And the haptic okay with, feedback. Yeah, and the, and the haptic feedback. Wait Although, a minute. I'm, wait a minute. You mean, you mean the jiggles? The buzz buzz. The jiggles. The wobbles, yes. the, the, the vibration. <laughs> the jiggles, and uh, like Jordan said, the uh, sensitivity on the, you can actually set on the dual sense, not on Linux currently, but uh, you can set like uh, how hard you have to press down on uh, the triggers for them to actuate. How does it handle yeah. being thrown through a monitor? That's to be don't determined. Know. Don't have one yet. Once I get one, once I get one, I'll yeah. let you know. The boomerang effect. <laughs> Let's see, see what kicks in. <laughs> is, is, is it like the battering? You just like throw it and it comes back to you. You're like, that's a good, that's a good design. If like, oh yeah, it'll be you, brilliant. And it, it, the blades if, come if, out and it <laughs> decapitates yeah. your yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh dude, no, if like yeah, Sony or uh, Nintendo, I, they came out with a controller <laughs> that you can throw and then it just comes back to you. That's like, that's like game rage solved. <laughs> yeah. So um, I am go ahead. dubious about those X input claims because I, why? I think the DualShock why? 4, DualShock 4 is my favorite controller. It is, and uh, if I could have that, but being X input without having, you know, not having to deal with the issues of games not supporting direct input, and those I just realized I asked him, and this is the same person with a PS4 that he doesn't use. Never mind. I, my apologies. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's still plugged in, though. That's yeah. the important thing. It's wasting electricity. <laughs> Just make sure it is plugged sure into the power. Although the uh, the switch on that particular power outlet is off, so so uh, so on, on the topic of controllers, Ven, you got that new Hooker Ed controller. This is this is about getting this up and running under the uh, Linuxes, right? <laughs> Girlfriend, this is just red. This is Hooker Red. All right, but, but I I can't tell the difference. My color perception is shit. This is this is actually what is it? What's like magenta, maybe? Oh, maybe not. Um, so I got this Xbox uh, One S. We decided. <laughs> It's Bluetooth, and I plugged it in. Didn't immediately work. It's like, oh, Linux is stupid. It's dumb. Oh, I'm gonna go on Twitter and Facebook and tell everyone how dumb Linux is because I no makes sense. Right? Yeah. 
Uh, I did have to look up one thing, that being Xbox One S controller support, because you plug it in, you know, I, I fondled it a little bit, you know, hit it in like blue teeth, and like, ah, opened up blues, I'm like, are you doing anything? Fuck you, are you connecting? It wouldn't complete the handshake, and I'm like, hmm, you'd pair it, but you wouldn't hook up. Google search, I found this, this is what you do, man, just head over to modprobe.d, create a Bluetooth config, throw in the option Bluetooth, disable ERTM, replace the yes with a one, and you're done. Then everything just works. So here's your cool. Yeah, pro tip from old man Ben. <laughs> just in case you're like, hey man, because I'm sure these are gonna get cheap. Oh uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, the new ones I like to be at least one entire generation behind, so it's time to get that Xbox <laughs> One S controller, kids. Um Well, it, be, it becomes like the generic PC controller after a while, too. Exactly. So you might be picking one of these up in the future. So yeah, just keep that in the back here. You're like, oh right, I remembered I had to go do that one thing. And Pedro, you're like, oh, that's the thing with the pie, which I saw a lot of things for the pie. This is the one I saw for the PC, finally. And it again it didn't yeah. work out of the box because I put Y in there and I'm like, hang on a minute. Sometimes Y equals one. Oh, that did it. Bull- bullion, <laughs> yeah. Dep- depending yeah, on how they parse the flag. The uh, the pie uh, thing is the the fix is exactly the same. You create the uh, or add to Bluetooth.conf in um, that etc. folder. You're and, you're, you're, uh, you're setting the kernel arg to disable that feature yeah. for the Bluetooth driver. That's it. <laughs> Fair warning, that may cause issue with Bluetooth headsets, but if you're using a Bluetooth headset, you already know your life's fucked. So, all right, <laughs> moving <laughs> That's on. That's probably the latest problems. <laughs> the Pyrobox and Helpletics gaming PC is going to begin shipping. That's right, Ben, um, on dudes. Uh, Finally. Twitter. Yeah, right? After, what, it's four been years, 10, six years, years. And billions of years ago when the future has passed. Um, yeah, unlike many modern mobile devices, this one's actually going to fucking ship is what is the big news with this one, man. Um, <laughs> what do we have? This this is the new one. This, you know, this is a revised one, 1.5 gigajoules OMAP, 5 ARM Cortex, A15, dual core, 32 bits of processing furries. And uh, yeah, so like in the same vein, it's like a big chunky GDP, right? GPD. Yep. Yep. Po- po- pocket PC. I mean... We, we've been talking about this on and off for a while. And here, here's the thing we've always but, addressed that this is a boutique item. Mm, this is mm, made in small batches for an electronic device. Starts before taxes, before that, 500 euros. Yeah. But I mean, that's, yep. that's what you gotta, that's what you gotta pay for open hardware, right? Like, uh, they, <laughs> like a lot of chip manufacturers will keep their design secret or we reuse old ones, keeps the cost down, blah, blah, blah. This is, more or less designed using mostly open source components so that that's why people are buying this and i'm glad that after five years people are gonna get their things they're gonna be real happy about it i just hope that it, most of these don't end up in closets somewhere 70 who needs Luft- Which one one of them? we have magnet boxing <laughs> yeah here's the box magnet boxing. inside man and stickers and all the fun stuff it's good um ultimately i like to just see something actually it, you i think this is one of those things everybody knew it was eventually going to get done mm-hmm. yeah they'd already done the previous yeah. versions and they were massively popular between that particular segment exactly they, so, they demonstrated yeah. that hey we, we know how to deliver unlike uh i haven't checked uh, maybe we'll get a smash z update next week i need to go <laughs> check in on that subreddit where <laughs> even the staunchest white knight defenders are like yeah we're fucked um, no, they got, they're they're getting yeah. bought up by Atari, so <laughs> the, uh, so in about five years, maybe. <laughs> just think about that, man. You're getting dunked on by the VCS, right? <laughs> the Atari VCS is already shipping. Ooh. All right, uh, <sighs> let's let's go out on a medium. Note. <laughs> yes, uh, medium is probably right. Sulfur Nimbus, Hell's Elixir. It's uh, it's not the first time we've talked about this game. It isn't. I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty what? sure we've talked about it before. <laughs> when? That that horsey looks like he's got a butt plug. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes, this is this is a, this is a very pony tastic game. Okay. Let's let's be it real. Is. Wait, why does the horse have a beak? <laughs> because it's a hippogriff. It's because a it's a hippogriff. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 and, it, it, um, for for all intents and purposes, it's a horse. We can just refer to it as the horse. Okay, because it's a you, flying horse. Both of you said that. We've established. Wait a minute. Both of you just said that word like. Yeah, Ben. Of course, it's a oh, a fucking hippogriff. What? Hippogriff. A hippogriff. Yeah. What in the cinnamon toast fuck is that supposed to be again? Uh it's um, like a, it's a griffin. 
Fancy griffin that's not quite a griffin. It's that's, a griffin with yeah, four fucking legs. Yeah, it's a griffin legs. with the uh, specific... Yeah, mo- mo- most uh, griffins do have four <laughs> fucking legs, yeah. And a horsey mm-hmm. tail. Well, this one has a horsey tail. I rest my case. As you want. <laughs> Look, it specifically says, you are a sulfur Don't. nimbus, a hippogriff who gets stuck on a cursed island during a side quest gone wrong. So clearly they have thought the whole backstory <laughs> I mean, the, but so, the so, thing that so, stuck out to me was actually the last paragraph of their little intro blurb. This game is known to cause motion sickness in some individuals. The learning yeah. curve can be somewhat steep, and the game features some mildly dark themes. It is not suitable for children. I'm sorry. Uh, Fucking we... what? <laughs> so, oh, okay, so so I, I tried the demo. They have, they have the one from the Kickstarter they, they put out a couple years ago. I tried it out, and I totally get the motion sickness thing, too. I really hope that the controls have improved since then, because hot damn, that camera is a little loose. I, we were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, though. The controls are really are kind of bad, but also like that is kind of how a flying horse would handle IRL. So, you know, props on realism for your flying horse. So it's like a legit Pegasus. A Pegasus. Yeah, Pegasus. <laughs> Pegasus. Well, there are other ponies, so I'll give them that. Well, can There's- you wait? Does it have like some OMG DLC? Maybe. I don't know. Hey, I, I got it. It's, it's two bucks. So, like, if this is your jam, the source is available for this, which is the reason I gave it a mention because I know we hadn't talked about it so long ago. And I like to see, you know, we've definitely addressed that. Hey, man, if, after your game's been up for a while, that code's not going to help anybody. I mean, it's not going to help you in any big way. Just put it out and, like, let people learn from it, help other people. Um, I went to download it, which I did because the download server's located in fucking Mordor for this thing. And that took a stupid amount of time to download like what, what was it like 70 mags or something like that well yeah if they're if they're transporting the bits by eagles right or pretty much man 365 this, for the uh Linux version it felt like one of those eagles was blindfolded and doing a little pcp or some shit because those packets man um is that, is that what's gonna happen in amazon lord of the rings it required java and that's as far as i got because it was like run it's like no and it's like a oh, java jar java thing Java not installed. I'm like, that's right. Go fuck yourself. I'm out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. Stay away from it. If you it's it's, it's the same way I finish using the language. bathroom. Let's be honest. By you only on need Java. Java for the launcher, though. I use Java for my toilet paper. Coming up next, we're throwing chairs at Savage Halloween. Hot. It's so spooky. Peasants, desalinate yourself. It's the chair acquisition time. This week, we're taking a look at Savage Halloween. Developed by Second Boss. Uh, it's done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about five bucks US. What is it? Sa- in Savage Halloween, the world is taken over by monsters from the afterlife who are trapped in Earth, in the Earth, after a Halloween party. And now they have decided to make their new home here. Ben bought some keys for that because it was real cheap. So, Let's thank uh, our patrons. Yeah, thank the patrons for giving us money to buy these games. It's thank great. you. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, so let's 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 get into it. Ven, who gave you get the to highest go first? score? I haven't looked. You did. You did. Oh shit! Lock up and prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. So, how did this run over here in Debian Ten Land, man? On the 1920x Threadripper with the 2060 powering through this juggernaut. Well, check it out, kids. This spoopy boy gets a clean bill of health, minus the screen resolution. Something I talked about last night. I felt the need to address it because seriously, what the hell's up with that? The only standard resolution on my end was 3840 by 2160. Everything else was some weird, bizarro moon resolution, which I thought might be related to an option called Pixel Perfect. Nay, it was not. But, however, I'm, I managed to make it scale. Apparently, Pedro did too. Now, how does it work with the controls? No problem there, because you expect controllers to work with your platformers. The X1, no issues. PS4 worked out of the box. However, no shapes with the PS4 controller. There'd be only X. But let's talk about the fun. Let's talk about the fun because, hey, the first thing I noticed was that bumping little chiptune soundtrack. Because it was bumping, wasn't it? It absolutely was. That was the first thing to catch me off guard when I launched it. The second thing came last night because I legitimately got to say something along the lines of, for those of you um, tuning in, I'm just trying to take out Gatlin Gun Santa with my time chicken explosives. And I was being wholly serious. Um, that was kind of fun. <laughs> But what do we have? What do we have? Uh, we have uh, it's full metal 8 bit bingo, man. I think Darkwing was talking about I need a bingo card to get all the games this is getting. 
Mega Man, Zelda, Contra, Castlevania, TMT, Battletoads, all borrowed from shamelessly in a great way. Now, you have a gun that shoots bats, it shoots ghosts, chickens, frogs, and when you run out of frogs and everything else, hey, you can fall back on bullets. Those are infinite. I like the game. It's well done. It makes fuck all sense, and it's criminally underpriced for the level of work that has went into it. Now, are the controls hollow tight? Nay, but they get the job done. Are the enemies um, a little bit on the repetitive side? Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah. Um, did I mention the bump and chiptune soundtrack? That's rare for me. I'm like, oh shit. All right, somebody put some work in there. I don't like chiptune to shit. I like this. Um, it needs some flying spaghetti monster damned online multiplayer. But really, who has a need for that in 2020, man? Fuck that noise, man. Just get a group of friends over. Invite them over for some local co-op. It's brilliant. It's hard to fuck up a $5 game since you're walking in with like these low expectations like I was. We were just talking about it. And I'm like, all right, you know, it might be fun. You get to kill giant penguins. But every now and then, every now and then, you get tossed a little extra snack like this. And that's what Savage Halloween is, is that little extra snack. You weren't expecting fuck or all. You were barely expecting the game to launch for five white stinky caches. This is one of those games. Not only does it launch, it gives you that little bit extra. It gives you something fun to play. Is it a game of the year or related nonsense like that? No. What it is is a solid little platformer with a fucking good sense of humor about it. You don't see that. You just don't, man. Um, I'll give you a solid three cheers. I had fun with the game, and for all I know, this is a one-person jam. A lot of love went into this, and it's not a shit game. Who's yeah, the on the... I am, I guess, Fine. on Fedora, on Fedora 32, 64 bit with the 6700, or not, the 3900X <laughs> and the GTX 1080 Ti. I still have that CPU. I still test shit on there, but not this week. Um, Yeah, uh, it launches out of the box. Pro tip if you're using the Switch Pro controller, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Turn off Switch mode in Steam uh, input. Otherwise, this game is unplayable. Uh, DualShock 4 works, uh, but like Vin said, you get no shapes, bad shapes. Um, the pixel art is good and clear. Um, there's no character blindness when the screen is full of shit. Um, and, uh, I'll, I will say all aside from like minigun Santa, I found the enemies kind of lacking in character or personality. What about Frank? Uh, what about Frank? I didn't, I didn't get to Frank. I don't think they're straight up for you. Didn't even get to Frank's level. Frank's got I, his own level. It's called Frank. I, I saw that I used Frank <laughs> castle. I, I did see that. I didn't, I didn't bother getting to that. Um, but yeah, I'm not as low, I'm not as in love with the soundtrack as uh, Venice, but it's it's all right. It's not bad. Um, fun wise, yeah. All in all, it's a pretty solid tribute to games of its ilk. Ben brought up the list like Battletoads, Bayou Billy, all that shit. Um, nothing wrong with homage. Second boss made a pretty fitting you one to home console. Literally riding a penguin. You are yep. yes. <laughs> uh, if you're, I thought that if was a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, if I think if you're the werewolf, you're something else. I vaguely recall that. Um. But yeah, um, I, it, it's it's pretty good homage to games of its ilk, uh, and like wearing wearing inspiration on your sleeve is fine. There's nothing wrong with homage, and it's a pretty decent one. It does the Bayou Billy slash Battletoad things, like you're seeing it right now. There's in between the running and gunning contra segments. Can I ask yeah, you? Um, I want to ask both of you real quick. Is uh, here's the thing. Uh, you know the first flying segment. Yes. Okay. Did you have the same issue where you could only shoot in the direction that you were fucking facing? You need to hold down triangle or Y, depending on the controller, to uh, I, I, I didn't stay. even bother doing that. I had I to bullshit ducked. my way through that. Yeah, I, 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 I ducked and weaved <laughs> I figured and that out because it's like, wait a second, so you hold this to stand still and shoot in multiple directions. Yeah, so like, maybe, oh, a, it does this work. This is impossible. Okay. This is bullshit. <laughs> the, 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 the little ghost guys were super annoying because they get like right up in your shit and you just can't yeah. shoot them. It's fun. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's a bunch of different game modes to keep things fresh. But for the most part, it's this run and gun thing. Um, so yeah, I never really got into these games as a kid. Like the, these were not the games I rented from Blockbuster. I don't um, think these games were around when you were a kid, though. They were they were they, like they, a generation they, behind because you, they, you no, didn't they, grow they, you didn't grow up with the NES, baby. I didn't grow up with the NES. I grew up with the Super Nintendo. There's still a lot of games like this for the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, and 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 Genesis as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the the nostalgia wasn't there for me. I pl I played those out of like necessity. Um, and like yeah, for um. And, and, and I mean, like, so here's the thing. This this is this is very retro. -esque. The difficulty is not there, but that's fine because this isn't like the only game you're going to be playing for the next couple months because that was the $50 game you can afford. It's a $5 one. Um, and it's certainly not awful for a budget title. Um, I will say, though, I agree with Ben. 
making people use remote play for multiplayer is bad and you should feel bad you get two chairs or oh yeah and over here on uh the ryzen 7 3700x and the gtx 1080 kd neon uh, it launched out of the box. Uh, it's Unity, so it holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. The DualShock uh, apparently was just on my end. Uh, DualShock 4 worked out of the box with the correct prompts. I actually got the uh, hold down circle to skip and press the cross to go to the next uh, line and uh, press R1 and um, L1 to do to things. Your point, so it's got something definition in it because of I did notice that one time when I cut on the... Um, Xbox controller. I got a fancy in game, not Steam, but in game like notification. Yeah. So there's it's, something it's, in the code that is supposed to change stuff. It just didn't happen. Only on your end. Yeah. It, it, uh, it happened it, for it, me. So uh, apparently it was, it was happening for me. Pedro, KD just be glad. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was happening Neon for me. But for, uh, uh, it works <laughs> for the keyboard. It would switch between controller and keyboard. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, it's uh, it, DualShock 4 worked out of the box. It, the, the graphics, well, you, if you're watching the video version, you can see what it is. It's uh, about as hipster pixel as you can get. And it's loud. Boy, is it loud. <laughs> when I first started it up, it's like, hey, oh, let's bring that down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while since we last had generic hipster pixel ac action platformer. Uh, and I still don't like them. Most of my childhood was spent playing stuff like this. Again, didn't have much of a choice at the time. I had my master system, and until uh, I was uh, out of primary school, it actually uh, got to play with the Sega Saturn. Uh, it was, yeah, it was, those were quite a few years where all I played were basically action platformers. Yes, but you, your um, n nostalgia thyroid didn't kick in until you got that Saturn, because... You start talking about Saturn games, you threaten to cut somebody if they see something negative. <laughs> I liked I liked a lot of games on the Saturn, especially uh, Nights and into like, Dreams. Universally, everyone's like, Saturn was the dumb, stupid system. Like, yeah, the Dreamcast was better. And Pedro's like, I'll cut you. Say that again. <laughs> the Dreamcast was the death knell of Sega. So, uh, yeah. No, no, Sega Japan was the death knell of Sega. <laughs> putting, Genesis putting Genesis games on Linux was the death knell of Sega. Let's mm -hmm. be real. <laughs> but yeah, that that's neither here nor there, though. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, my, most of my childhood, again, it was spent playing games very much like this. So I got a little bit tired of them. And uh, I can already hear people call it, oh, calling me a hypocrite because, oh, you liked Scorchbreaker, which is also a uh, hipster pixel platform. If you can't tell the difference between Scorchbreaker and uh, Savage Halloween, you have those bigger issues. That's a swamp. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are straight up forms. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the music, it got really loud at some points. It got a little bit obnoxious, so that got muted with a quickness. Uh, I suppose it's a good thing that it isn't a terribly difficult game, because on top of me being just about done with the, this particular genre, if I was forced to replay the same level over and over and over, yeah, no, that uh, that wouldn't have uh, spelled a good, a very good score for this game. Not that it's doing uh, terribly well as it is, but at four pounds, I can't really muster any kind of hatred for it. I didn't like it, but it certainly didn't kick my dog and kidnap my cat, so it gets two. <laughs> at the end of the so, day, uh, here's what I appreciate. <laughs> I mean, it it it's just it's not like hey i'm going to do this like in the style of it's like hey man we're, we're going to do a play on this and it's shameless about it it's like hey you're in on the joke through the whole thing and again for five bucks i, I can't hate it the art yeah. art hipster pixel artwork when it's done right i don't mind it this has been done right it's even got the color palette shit down mm -hmm. yeah like it's 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 definitely okay um i don't know <laughs> That, the, that's us. That's, that's how I want our that, show to be branded from now on. Definitely. <laughs> okay. I mean, that that's probably the best we can hope for. Let's be real. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. That's kind of cheating a little bit. Like, eh. Yeah. We're, we we are we are the Savage Halloween of podcasts. Is so. Indeed, baby. <laughs> <laughs> come to our Savage Garden. No Halloween. I don't care who you. Is that Savage Garden? I don't even. Care I don't care. Anymore. Coming up next, we got some hate mail. We're talking about NASA. We're talking about Steam. <laughs> We're gonna, right. launch page, we're gonna launch Pedro in space. We're gonna launch him hard. I, I say this every week, but chances are we probably said something over the past hour and 
a few odd minutes. Would you just wait? Uh, but no, no, no. I'm tired of you. You're all hopped up on your performance enhancing gravy, and you're just talking nonsense. It's, you're pegged out of though. your skull, man. We tried to get him to eat the gravy, and he didn't. No, 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 no. You see, that's what he wants you to think. He went in there and took it all down and just shook the box to mock us. He's like, I'm full of gravy now. Fuck both of you. He, he, he just fucking mainlined it. He, like, mixed it up in a syringe and injected that, it that's into his why, bloodstream. That's why he just stuck his... He didn't stick his head out because he was foaming with the gravy. No, I thought he was foaming with rabies. <laughs> Don't get Rabies. Rabies. Some kind of gravy. All right, I know what I'm uh, Rabies. <laughs> but yeah, uh, chances are we said something that really annoyed you or you completely disagree with. So feel free to let us know about that. Many ways you can do that. LinuxGameCast.com contact button. Fill out the form. That's a way. Make sure you pick LGC Weekly so that we'll see your hate mail right here, right now. Or, of course, you can uh, leave us a YouTube comment. No guarantees that we'll see those, but... They're a thing. Hey man, if you're look at our it Patreon, this way. yeah. Um, if you're gonna drop a YouTube a comment, there. just, just, just be like it's like uh, pissing into the gravy, and you know, maybe <laughs> someone's gonna notice it, maybe they're not. And just, I'm just Don't. saying, use the contact form if you want to get through us. And Patreon's guaranteed way to hear back, though, right, Pedro? Yeah. Yes. Don't, don't don't piss in my gravy and call it cereal. 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 It, wait, he's cereal. The, he, he's the captain on the Star Treks, right? So, oh, Captain, Captain Cereal. Cereal. Yeah, he's like his Cereal. name. He's made of like Cereal. Gravy. Yeah, cereal gravy. I mean, you, you your cereal. Eat you're, you're supposed to eat them with gravy. That's for sure. I wouldn't eat a Star Trek Captain. That's nasty. <laughs> that's what. That's what. Uh, that's what uh, Philip or Jojo does. Or Jojo does on the show. <laughs> oh yeah. So <laughs> she, she we were talking. We were talking about these guys. These guys. Steam controllers, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and the, you, with the big strong head. These are very chunky. These are, would you say Duke S? I wouldn't say Duke They're S. smaller than the Duke. <laughs> well, I mean, in the same spirit, like, yeah. But yes, uh, the, uh, for me, the, the biggest problem, uh, which is uh, part of what we talked about uh, when Lumkey commented, uh, it's, I can't reach the uh, right That's bumper and the right the trigger. Yeah. Uh, at the same time as the face button, so that's kind of a big thing for me, and it's part of why I like the uh, DualShock 4 quite as much as I do, because I can reach all the buttons, even with my asymmetrical hands, so, yeah. And you were going to throw that PS4 controller away so quick when you get the PS5 controller, you're like, get out of here. But it's going to, like, boomerang back and hit it, him in the head, though, so... It is. The blade's going to pop don't. out. Gonna it depends on whether or not it works, and I still need to hear more about he's gonna come uh, back this with supposed like X patch. input. No, he's going to come yeah, back and like, the, the controller is just going to be embedded in his <laughs> forehead. We're, we're just never going to bring it up. This is going to be a slow stream of gravy. Lomke yeah. uh, had something to say about the uh, the Steam controller, which is, man, I hope Valve don't give up on the Steam controller. Me too, actually. Uh, I have big hands and the Steam controller. Uh, very good for me. I do have a Xbox controller, but it's way too small. One. One. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. <laughs> um okay steam controller mm-hmm. uh i i don't know if i'm feeling <laughs> it man approximately <laughs> about the same size i mean yeah. i i say this is somebody who can handle it, just pulling the shit out of both of them but um i guess maybe this is just got like the the areolas on it i don't know now i will admit the um analog Hats on these teeny mm -hmm. tiny. They're smaller than the PS4s. Mm. Okay. So maybe, maybe that's what you're talking about. I don't know. I, don't know. I always found this Switch Pro feels good in the hand. It's like it's weighty. It has it has some mass to it. Okay. Um, the best. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I will say though, like as far as like actual controllers go, DualShock is pretty choice. Yeah, I can't be asked. I don't I don't like the uh, analog sticks. They're um too fucking high and too much play in them. On the PS4, mm -hmm. yeah, the, uh, it's ba basically what I'm, you know, just getting rid. It's a trash controller, pretty much. Yeah, ab ab yeah, absolutely. The only good controller was the Atari, like joystick, Paddle. the Saturn yeah. slash Genesis controller. Yeah, yeah, with the with the, the, with the, with the, with the, the wheels. wheels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, you just put all the shapes on the wheel and pretend. Close your eyes. <laughs> no, it's it's like dialing a rotary phone, right? Like it's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, inpatient ape man is going to drop some ape knowledge upon us. Uh, it's about NASAS, man. Okay, Pedro, help us out before we get started because 
this suave motherfucker dropped a timestamp in his comment. And he's like, you need to go did. watch this. <laughs> to which yeah. I, myself and Jordan replied, get fucked. Um, but Pedro, <laughs> on the other hand. Uh, yeah, no, I, I did click the timestamp and I had to see. This was uh, left as a comment on uh, LGC Weekly episode 426. Uh, and it yeah, was Jordan was yeah, Jordan was talking about uh, how the uh, space program wasn't uh, actually the goal wasn't to get into space per se. Uh, it was about developing the technology so that it could be used for other reasons. Uh, and <laughs> well, apparently. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, uh, <laughs> were you not paying attention? The whole point of the space race was to invent Velcro. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what and, you and, said afterwards. Yes. And, and, and a pen that can write upside down. <laughs> <laughs> we called it a pencil that too <laughs> but yeah uh, impatient ape uh apparently had some uh, issues with that particular statement which is the space program was about getting into space get your ass to mars to dominate it before the soviets could uh, it was a political competition on many levels, so you're already saying that Jordan was right. Uh, only after the space race sort of petered out in the mid-80s, right about the time when the launch of the shuttles became meh to the news cycle, did the side effects may include new technology spin-offs argument become prominent. NASA's budget uh, kept, getting out of, uh, kept getting cut, and they needed a way to sell their... Uh, Continuing relevance. Spinoffs. Argument become prominent. What a uh, budget kept getting cut. Okay. Um, and? I, no, I, that's I the mean, thing. I, he straight up agrees with what Jordan said. Yeah, it's, it's like, just, but this completely. It, it's a political thing. This this is a good way to s- <laughs> attempt to s- sidestep the Velcro, but it doesn't at the end of the day. No, Vel- Vel- Velcro was still a thing that came out of the space race. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I can, I, uh, impatient eight, uh, eight, I can definitely see. The impatient that sort eight. Of- I want to see that. Im- yeah, it's the, it's the less popular sequel they're, to the Hateful Eight. They're just in line at the Jack in the Box. They're like, yeah. put the fuck on. It's a Tarantino what, flick, so but, it's but, like what, two what, hours what, what, long, what, but it's all done. What, what about Hateful Ape? Anyways, no, I, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying, yes. Like, that's, it's a minor nitpick, but sure, yeah. The, the, the fact was they wanted to develop uh, technology to go into space, to put weapons into space, and they realized that is a terrible idea, because once you start putting rods from gods in space... It's game over. Game over, Brad. Um, I will definitely take kinetic weaponry over nukes in space any day. I don't want any weaponry in space pointed downwards in general. That's no moon. (laughs) That's just a big ass ballista. That's no no moon. That's George Lucas's ego. No, baby, that's no moon. That's a bombshell. Because on that one, we got to call it a night. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for showing up with our four-hour rock block, but we got to pull the train back into the moon station. Yeah. Choo-choo, get- moon train. <laughs> that's, that's, how the, that's, that's the sound the moon makes, Pedro. Choo-choo, I want to go across the night sky. <laughs> it's the moon train. Well, no, no one can hear it, because in space, no one can hear you in space. No one can hear you, moon, or Velcro. Alan? So... <laughs> If you want to get in touch with me, you can give me at Stone on Twitter. That's where I'm hanging out doing the things. Also at Vin at masks.linuxgamecast.com. Or if you just want to have a shitty chat, uh, pop in our Discord. We're there. Or IRC. Speaking of vacuums that are not friendly to life at all, my Twitter is the Burning Fool, or at the Burning Fool, uh, and I am Jordan Spung. Yeah. Uh, you can have a sucks. shitty chat uh, in our Discord, or you can have a chat about literally anything else. Uh, we're not above, you know, discussing poop and farts, but it's, uh, yeah, it's it, it's absolutely <laughs> something <laughs> that is not a requirement. You, you can find me at uh, unaccounted for with the upside down T hashtag zero one two three on Discord or at unaccounted for F O U uh, R on Twitter. Are you are you straight up one two three? It's gonna be one two three. Somebody's zero, gonna one, type two, that three. up. Yeah. No, 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 it's that's, gonna that's be O N E T W O. T H R E. Anyway, we can roll some credits. What, what, what am I? Six eight fifty. Fine credits. credits. Let's not look at numbers. <laughs> hey man, I got a three digit UID on slash dot. Get off my lawn. Excellent. <laughs> All right, well, we got to thank all the lovely people who are giving us money, enabling us to come back week after Gravy week enablers. after week after <laughs> week. You. 
Okay. Yeah, zero unaccounted from, hash bill. Go oh, fuck yourself. From, from from the cradle to the gravy, we got to say Vigil and Viking are uh, our only advisor at the moment. Our executive producers: Haplo, Justin, Mike, J, Angel M, Bob Ramp, Scott M, Mr. Fox Dog, Arthur, and Atomic Ass, Mike G. Mike we got to thank our little our little Nikki fans: Darkwing and Empty, and our sea monsters: oh, Jack yes. B, Dementor, Renaud, LePage, Ryder X, Machina, and Paul. Come on, <laughs> get all these death notes, man. We got like Captain Zero. To do the links, no, okay. Dag. Basil, Chad, Sterlings. Let's Romeo. see who showed up tonight. Cool. I gotta. I might have to fix the Arson. formatting on this. It's a bit segmented. Um, <laughs> Greg, North Ranger, showing Vinto, so Newman, Mister Alan. Alan, Alan's been hanging out tonight. Mister um, Amish, Wintercell, Nubbin, Vlanir D. Colin, Ayrton, right and T G, Jolly Dodger, and Jonas Rulio, and me, Michelle Chi. <laughs> Incredible Lucius Rohit Nathan Dodger. W <laughs> Fraser not, not that Dodger Lucius. I wish yeah. <laughs> Shameless no. plugs Not uh, Dex bonus <laughs> Nixon's Pyramid And uh, the other one PowerShell and Linux yeah. PowerShell and Linux baby Alright beautiful people We gotta get out of here Bye 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 <laughs> Five dudes <laughs>